Hi, today's topic is variadic functions in C. Now a variadic function is simply a function that takes variable arguments. Students use them all the time, but students often forget that they can make their own. So today I wanna to dive into that and help you see how you can create your own variadic functions in C. This video is inspired by something that happened a few months ago. I was working with some students in office hours and they had an idea for how to test their, how to test their code and essentially what they wanted to do was to create a wrapper around printf. So printf, of course, as you know, accepts a variable number of arguments and they, they thought, hey, if we could only just wrap printf and have it do something else in addition to what it normally does, wouldn't that be great? Great idea, it fit perfectly with their project, but they didn't know how to make it work. So today, you're gonna learn how. So first off, let's start with a really simple example. So let's say that I have a very simple function. It takes a variable number of arguments all integers, and it simply prints them out. Okay, that's really simple. We just wanna take a bunch of numbers and we're gonna print them all out. Okay, simple enough. I'm gonna to need to include standard arg.h, which has a bunch of macros that are gonna help you to access these variable, ar the variable arguments to your function. Now we define our variadic function like this. You always put the required arguments first, followed by an ellipsis. In C, you have to have at least one required argument, and this is usually used to tell you about the other arguments. So in printf, we know that this is the format string, right? The format string tells us what else is coming. In our first example here, it's gonna be the number of integers. Now, this is all we need to be able to call our variadic function. So now inside the function, let's see how we handle it, because they have to handle things a little differently. So now inside the function, how do we access the arguments? Because you'll notice that they don't have names. So for this, we'll use three different macros, va start, va arg, and va end. We'll also need to define a variable of type va list. Now, va start takes two arguments, the va list and the name of the last required argument. It's essentially setting a pointer to the spot on the call stack where our variable arguments are st were stored when the function was called. Then we're gonna use va arg to pull off the arguments one by one in the order they are listed. Note that we have to tell va arg what type the argument is so it knows how big it is. These types must also be self-promoting types. So you can't use chars, shorts, or floats. Those aren't allowed but ints, doubles, and pointers are just fine. So finally, we're gonna call va end, and if you're using GCC or Clang, you can actually leave this off since it doesn't actually do anything, but for portability, we'll put it in. That way, this code can be compiled with any standard C compiler, and you're sure that it's gonna work. And that's all there is to it. Now I have a function that takes a variable number of integers, and it prints them all out. Super easy. Now there are a few things to keep in mind. First, the program doesn't really know how many arguments were passed in. If I pass in an extra int, it will be ignored. If I pass in too few, I'm just gonna get garbage. So now that you have the basics, let's look at printf. Printf is typically implemented like this. You'll notice that it's really just a wrapper. All of the different printf variants call vfprintf, which takes a stream like standard out or a file, a format string, and then a VA list. The fact that it takes a VA list makes it super easy to wrap. So we just initialize the VA list with VA start, and then we pass it into VF printf. Simple as that. Now it's really easy for me to have printf do something extra, like selectively silence printf calls, maybe send some of the output to a file, or hey, let's have it only print out format strings that start with my name. Of course, what you end up doing is gonna be up to you and what you want it to do, but the point is, is that now you know how. And that's all for today. Enjoy your new skill and I'll see you later. Hey folks, are you finding these videos useful? If you are, I hope you'll let me know by liking or subscribing. If there are things that you'd like to see more of, or if you have questions that you think I might be able to answer, please let me know. Post a comment, send me an email, send a carrier pigeon, drop by my office, whatever. But please, yeah, let me know. If there are questions you have, if there are things you think I should cover, let me know and I, I'll see what I can do.